Hey friends, happy Friday. Scott Smith with the Smith Team at Kettle Williams. Wanted to share with you some insight on questions that we are getting from our friends as we bump into them at the store, at kids sporting events, uh, just on our everyday errands, uh, including our clients that we're working with on a daily basis. Uh, there are four things I just wanted to share with you and hopefully it sheds some light on uh, some of the insight that we are uh, providing to our clients. The first one uh, is, should I wait until mortgage rates uh, come down? And what we're seeing, uh, if mortgage rates do come down, what we're seeing right now is actually stabilization in the mortgage uh, rate uh, uh, environment. So with that, we're seeing uh, mortgage rates that are kind of in that six and a half-ish range. Uh, we're probably going to see uh, touching close to close to 6% by the end of the year. But we also have seen a little bit of fluctuation where they've bumped up a little bit close to 7 and a little bit above that, depending on credit scores and the type of loan program. So there's a little bit of volatility in the mortgage industry right now. Uh, mortgage markets are, are up and down uh, as the economy kind of goes up and down. And with that, we're also seeing uh, some good opportunities out there if you can time it right and get that property under contract. So that's number one. Should you wait? Um, probably not. Uh, we're not going to see, uh, don't expect to see interest rates that are going to be below that 6% range uh, for the foreseeable future. Everything that we're hearing from multiple sources is that we're going to be seeing uh, interest rates close to that 6%, the low six ranges, which is actually a pretty good uh, healthy interest rate for today's uh, real estate environment. Uh, the second thing is we're going to wait for prices to crash. Should we wait to buy a house until prices crash? And crash is obviously a pretty strong word. Um, are we going to see any price declines? We have not seen that at all this year. Uh, the spring market for our team is real strong and robust. Uh, four of the last five properties that we're selling are selling in multiple offers. Uh, our buyers are competing in multiple offers. Uh, with the shortage of inventory that we're seeing, more of a stabilization in inventory, uh, some of those properties are flying off the shelves. Uh, we're getting a lot of showings. Uh, some of those properties that we just put on the market are getting 40 and 50 showings in the first four or five day uh, window. So we're seeing great buyer activity out there. Um, and that is actually going to uh, keep prices stable and strong, if not trending in the upward direction. Uh, nationwide, we've heard that uh, in, uh, prices have actually increased um, uh, over 4% in the first quarter. So uh, I don't expect that that's going to change. If anything, it's probably going to be a little bit more uh, on the upside with that. Um, the third uh, item is I won't be able to find anything to buy. There's no inventory out there, which in some respects is, is true, but in other respects it might be just a little bit of a misconception. And what I mean by that is uh, – all those properties are coming off the market so quickly. So the inventory uh, that is just not sitting on the shelves for uh, weeks at a time, months at a time, unless it's new construction, those model homes will sit there for a while before the builder will actually open them up for sale. Uh, so that being said, uh, we're seeing more inventory coming on the market, uh, but also followed by that is some of that buyer activity that are scooping up those good deals um, and getting them under contract. So uh, we're seeing more inventory than there had been in the years past, but it's still uh, lower than what we would like to see. Uh, the fourth item is I need 20% down uh, for my mortgage for down payment. And actually that couldn't be further from the truth. We've got a number of great loan programs uh, that would offer less than 20% down. The majority of loans are now uh, are actually being uh, originated with less than 20% down. So people are taking on a mortgage might be putting down 10%. 5%, FHA's got a great loan program, 3.5%. VA has a zero down loan program. If you've got any veterans in your household that are looking to, to take advantage of it, there's also some great first time home buyer programs with down payment assistance that are out there. Many communities have those. And if a uh, lender is a nationwide lender, they might not know about those uh, resources that are out there for available for down payment assistance. We've helped clients get up to $10,000 in down payment assistance. So there are some great, great uh, resources out there, and we are your quarterback to help you make sure you take full advantage of those. So if there's anyone that you know that's looking to buy or sell or invest in real estate, certainly reach out to us. We're the boots on the ground knowing what's going on in the market, and we'd love to help anyone you know uh, take advantage of what is going on right now. Certainly reach out to us, 651-777-3434. Have a great weekend. Take care.